most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. As I'm waking this morning, the Lord is explaining to me the mentalist of an Indian male child who has come to America on his parents' money and has literally decided to take my program for the indigent and homeless and people like me who have been vis victims of identity theft, cybercrime, and fraud and reverse engineer it on my life with the help of siblings and other people who are total strangers to me and the local loving, loving, loving police. Now let's think about this. I'm a guy who is pretty computer savvy and I've made this program maybe two and a half years ago. I've played it in different communities in the Midwest and I've had some success with the concepts in that when people see it, especially my tease slide, they actually want to help because they get it. Because everybody in the world knows if a person of any kind of age of maturity that every human being, as long as they're bodily able and emotionally stable and intellectually, well, willing, can get some sort of work. So in my audio casts, I always begin with, life. let's make a life worth living. And let's make that retirement based on whatever career and industry we decide to serve by using the best standards and best benchmarks and best quality assurance that we can. But here's what that little motherfucking shitbag from a foreign land did to a homeless man who was in struggle. He decided to totally decimate his little life based on a slide that he stole a copy of off a, the man's hard drive he, or thumb drive. He put his little greasy ass hands into some food and tainted it or beverage. He got other people to participate to make it a stalking game, like a person to person game, like a, I'm going to catch something game. Or I'm going to mess with some major medical rights game. And what that little shitbag did was decide to take away every single T on that list to prove his own social scientific theory that what he was saying on that slide is 100% true. But instead of doing it lawfully and correctly, he decided to just do it without any lawful permission or consent. And as a result, he has taken all these people into an actual hate crime. Because he decided to select me to screw my life out of my privacy rights. And he decided to select this homeless man, who is a pretty intelligent fellow, to be the victim in his little fucking game. And by getting law enforcement to, to profit from it, basically he's able to say that they discriminate. And even if I say this shit, I'll probably have that dynamite, hot, blonde law enforcement officer in my fucking face again, trying to wear me down with her bullshit. And let me tell you, most law enforcement officers are not that attractive on either side of the coin. And I'm into women. So let's just be really clear about what this little shit Jamie and his little faggot friends from foreign lands are here doing in a matter of treason. I didn't actually put treason on my tea list. What these little motherfuckers did was manufacture an attack on a man's personal, private, intimate life. They decided, let's prove the theory in reverse. And let's use everybody we can possibly do it with by socially sexualizing or sexually socializing, and I'm not a fucking mad scientist on his life and look at this little motherfucker right so what we're going to do is we're going to take away all these things on this individual who is promoting a program and see what happens to him but you know what else these little shitbags did they sexually assaulted someone because they put their hands down somebody's pants to get to thumb drives and they just decided, well, my hands are already down here, so I'm just going to put my hands in other places. 
Now, I'm not going anywhere else with this story. But I'm going to tell you, for God's glory, on any side of any area of religion in the world, that God is mighty fuckingly pissed off. Because at no time did Jesus Christ or any version of the Lord enter into that black-ass child from India or that white shit supremacist from China or that athletic motherfucker from Korea or any Mexican man who's trying to steal himself into our land who participated in sexually assaulting a homeless man. Now, I don't know about you, but if I was a police officer, I'd be pretty fucking pissed off at these kids. I wouldn't go, oh, congratulations, you helped us prove that this man is a royal shitbag. No, I'd be going, holy shit, I've aided and abetted with the help of my police and my sheriff and my technology that they've been hacking on me for the last four to five years. A practical rape. And if we can use some of this amazing technology in terms of audio files and subliminal and uh, CBD oil or melatonin on this motherfucker and his food by getting retail employees to play in and tainting food, we can take him out of his life for three and four days at a time, study his little motherfucking body, take him out of his clothes, shave him up and turn him into a girl if we wanted to. Well, let me tell you something, motherfucker. God is so fucking angry at you that the entire fucking nation and a lot of studies and a lot of communities and a lot of countries and a lot of nations and a lot of races in a lot of places are dying, motherfucker, of COVID. Congratulations. Did you ever fucking once think about with your little faggot ass hands of putting your hands on a man's face and cutting his beautiful pagan priest beard would do to you? You see, the cutting of someone's facial hair or body hair without their lawful consent is called a lot of things under the law. But local law enforcement didn't give a shit even when they were notified about it because you got men and women on both sides of the coin that are so fucking immoral and so illegal and so illicit in their minds that they just think, who gives a shit? Why do I care about that one? Well, what happens to when it's your kid? And I did a profile once in my audio cast series of who the fuck is next, but it wasn't that explicit. But it's not your life that's being sexually assaulted when having inappropriate touch in the middle of the night. It's not your medical rights that are being taken away by these monstrous black bitches who think, if I just keep giving him money, then I can do whatever I want to him in a form of what we call technically under the law financial abuse. And then you take these motherfucking law enforcement officers and you take a little snitch like Jamie who likes to pray in the minute he hears his voice and his name on an audio file of mine and which I've never fucking gave into him in his life in terms of where my social media channels are. He wants to pray by like a mentalist and a superstar and a rock star and a porn star and a, what's the other term? A druggie addict. And we take these law enforcement officers and we create as many little false little fucking records with the help of all the folks around the town in a serious stalking with technology and majorly demanding mobbing thing. We diffuse and disseminate all this false fucking information of anything we feel like it. And we create these illegal records which is called legal abuse. And then we just motherfucking steal his program and go out and use it at the local shelters to prove that it actually fucking works just like some of the women thought it would who were business professionals in the community who heard about it in the origination of it in the local community who are supposed to help small business owners grow. They don't exactly have a chamber of commerce here, at least not where I was when I originated here. They don't exactly have a what do they call it, a small business development center here. But they do have some, a couple bitches in an office who are supposed to help people grow their businesses. 
but let's take this guy who's working his ass off to survive and let's everybody pounce on his medical rights and privacy rights. Let's totally undress him. Let's totally sex him up. Let's totally shave his body in a mutilation and molestation under the law way. And then let's all throw up our hands and say, so what? Right, police officer? Like Mr. Right, Mr. Police in the unmarked vehicles? Right, Mrs. Police in your little super hot rod? Uh, trooper state trooper vehicles which are usually a some sort of a power vehicle they don't do Tauruses anymore what are they called they're sleek sports sedans with a powerful engine by Dodge but let's do all of this to this motherfucker after some shitbag from another state decides to cross the fucking state line and continue his sexual assault and sexual abuse on behalf of the federal government because he's a motherfucking sheriff who bounced his way into somebody's privacy without consent, stole his legacy and his girlfriend who be supposed to become his wife, who was marvelously mature enough at some point in fucking history to get that his great wife of 20 years who is Japanese and his technologically a sound son didn't give a motherfuck about his private disease because an actual man is what in America let's really talk about this because we have folks like T Tony Dungis who is a ex-football coach and really big popular authors on manhood what's his name more and whatnot trying to talk to men about authentic manhood and these little motherfuckers in a podunk piss ant little ass town of champaign urbana where there's a college that preaches about diversity and teaches about hate crimes and all this shit right and let's just frigging not do this was never something that crossed their fucking mind because what if they did that then people would actually learn about the law of the United States Constitution. They might actually regard the fucking United Nations and the Declaration of International Human Rights that governs every fucking citizen of the world, or I apologize, the 400 countries that signed the fucking thing way back in FDR time. And Eleanor Roosevelt was walking around the planet giving FDR some quality time with his girlfriends because at that time statesmen had a lot of shit on the side and for all we know she might have been gay or lesbian like a lot of our local law enforcement because that's the fucking industry that they like to go into for power and control over everybody's lives and maybe I'm sounding with the tone of my voice a little passionate and maybe I'm sounding like with the attitudes that I'm expressing, a little bit of an asinine asshole. But motherfuckers, this is my life that you've sexualized, destroyed since I got here over the last year and a half. And I got some little fucking player named Juju who always is walking by, who is totally a cybercrime guy, always pissing on your family, your children, walking up to you, asking you for fly money because he alleges he's homeless but he's really not he's living illegally in somebody's apartment complex like a lot of these little motherfucking brothers like Jamie who play as if they're working for a motherfucking company and they're representing these fucking apartment complexes by saying I'm a banker employee but let's go after this intelligent homeless man who's about to work for the fucking federal government and let's engage his original sibling set and invade his privacy and talk to a mother that's losing her mind and let's just dis totally disregard his entire motherfucking male life where he worked for the local university of his state where he served the community as administrator and let's just fucking forget that he taught the full language of Japanese to our children at local public institutions that are governed by the state and let's just totally forget that he was born in our state here and let's just totally forget that he has got the rights to die in this state because he's got burial grounds 
in our community away us away from here that were a gift in his inheritance from his late father's estate who was a u.s military officer where maritime law is in play between him and any fucking person of his family let alone some stupid ass podunk policeman who never went to school about police or purchased his stupid little sheriff's license for the typical three hundred four hundred dollars and a little bit of legal legalese but let's absolutely ruin one individual's life with every black bitch of a baptist church or every white shit overweight woman from a white supremacist christian church or every pastor from a lutheran or catholic church and let's disseminate as much false fucking information and then let's go out in the community after we drugged him shove him in front of some doctor who doesn't have a fucking degree in the specialties of his health life and his internal private organs and let's just make up a whole bunch of fucking lies and say that he just can't get it up which, if you talk to his late wife, who was Japanese and of 20 years in his life, she'd tell you otherwise. But let's just fuck him out of his priest beard on his face, because that's what we do here in America. We go after Jewish priests who have beautiful long hair on their face and seriously cool caps on their head called yarmulkes. Oh, and let's teach our Jewish boys to give homeless people five cents or walk up and try and palm them with apples as if that's going to handle their homelessness and their hunger when they're starving to death no motherfucker protein and fruits do that in a can and no offense to the restaurant community that everybody's trying to save in the land but the best and safest food you're going to find today is going to be in your grocery store and cans but again Let's take all these people and let's forget that this little motherfucking Indian college boy thought he'd want to prove some social theory or was it a little Chinese girl from overseas who just couldn't figure this shit out and let's maybe just presume that it was some kid in a mental health facility who was seated there in a confidential situation as a student of some fucking local university who got some information that wasn't handled correctly, wasn't understood correctly, because the Muslim fucking doctors and mental health people and the fucking insurance agents at the jail, and who else? Oh yeah, the Catholic bastard physician that locked him in a room at the request of his siblings so they could fuck him out of his rights to go to his father's funeral. <coughs> Let's just totally kill his life based on these principles that he's touting for his homeless initiative to help people who have been victims of all this abuse to eat when they've been seen as criminals when what really happened was a little shit like him from a foreign land created fraud by using his stuff in identity theft and committing every aspect of cybercrime on his life with the help of local law enforcement to totally obliterate and destroy his life based on their humble version of his experiences in life with people like him from foreign lands that like to do sex operations on people that don't deserve it So let's humiliate him and his late wife and late son further. Let's destroy his rights to the woman that he loves, that God planned for him, and the husband that he planned for her after a bastard shitbag man named Travis left her and their children and was fucking everything around town and literally created a new bank account and did all that shit. And I apologize to the woman I love, but let's just add all that shit into the mix And then let's use this horrible, illegal, and incredibly immoral in the house of God technology to make him forget what we do to him on a short-term, regular basis. That all these medical and health inspections that we're performing on him after drugging his food, which is highly illegal in America, and rape is seriously immoral, at the very least, not alone illegal, and stalking is federally... Well, is it protected today or is it illegal today? But let's just fuck his whole life 
with the entire community so that when he goes out into the community to use his intellectual property, which is federally protected and actually internationally protected, and his copywritten work and creative work, which of the creative industry, any motherfucking person with an absolute moron kind of brain knows is not your right to take and go photograph out of his bags without his lawful consent and use it for your financial benefit, which is fucking called fraud. And let's just keep fucking his life all over the place so that he can lose his wife, lose his personal property, which became the marvelous property of the state sheriff, allegedly that never notified him about the sheriff sale on all his beautiful items from his travels as a man in Japan, where he literally landed himself a wife or spouse, took over the, the rate of a, of a kind of a raging adolescent son, and actually younger than that, maybe by age eight, I'm trying to remember, I can't remember all that, I'm not, my memory's not great anymore, because some little black bastard, bastard of age 23, who was sleeping on a church, uh, what do you call it, um, porch, of an alleged diversity-oriented, impoverished-minded church, where the Koreans are upstairs, and our little whites folks, who are supposed to be proliferating and sharing the gospel, are downstairs, and maybe a paltry group of 10, versus their Korean church of 200 to 300. And let's just keep whooping this man's ass all over town with a little player named Jamie who can't be found because, oh, what was my question originally? What does it mean to be a man today? And if we go back to the Christian authors of the day, if we go back to the sports enthusiasts of the day, what it means to me, a man, is that you have the mature responsibility to know what the fucking laws of our, of our marvelous country with regard to privacy rights, human rights, civil rights, mobility rights, technology rights, telecommunication rights, and personal rights. And where do you think I'm going with this, you stupid motherfucker? What it means is that any bastard from an overseas, overpopulated, really disease-ridden country can come here and create total chaos in our fucking country. And if there's a million of them here, what do you fucking think is going to happen to them? Now, let's be totally stupid motherfuckers, like we were after 9-11 and Twin Towers, and let's start smacking the people that had nothing to do with this but represent those folks in the land in our undereducated, ill-willed mind, like when I heard this, the horrible and totally compassionate story that a man who was a Sikh was misconstrued as one of the 9-11 attackers. And he was literally, personally, practically beaten to death. No, motherfucker, he's a Christian in a foreign country with a different name for it. Unless you never read one fucking thing about what it means to be a Sikh to that person. Which is a religion, you stupid shit. Now, how angry do you fucking think I am? And let's just take a look at the numbers of deaths with COVID across the world. How fucking angry do you think God is? Now, am I aligning my troubles with a foreign God or a foreign land? Not exactly. But how many of you Catholic-oriented, Satan-worshipping, sinful bitches who don't regard the Holy Spirit, don't get that God is cleaning up the world with COVID. And that God, for any human being of faith, even if you're a wick tree, what I love to call a tree-hugging Wiccan, which is a marvelous and hot girl, willing to run naked in the woods, feels about God. And maybe some of this is just a wee bit disjointed, but are you getting the weaving of my journalistic reporting story that somebody somewhere initiated an attack on an individual's life, then realized how fucking illegal it all was, then decided to involve as many motherfucking people as he could in a huge mass, what's called mobbing, but technically called an offender law, stalking, and when we really get down to it, aiding and abetting sexual assault, rape, medical records violations, medical records fraud, gender identity is a story dislabeling on all fucking things because oh these little fuckers are medical practitioners in a specialty thing and let's just throw it out there because you motherfuckers want to say that god doesn't know what he creates in it all because that's what you're saying we're saying i believe in the bible 
I believe in the Quran. I believe any religious work across the land, across the world. But what I'm saying is God doesn't know what he makes in the souls of people. And God doesn't know what the fuck he's doing in building our people. And he, God doesn't know anything about cellular health. And God doesn't know anything, motherfucker, about how to heal people. And God doesn't know anything about the Holy Ghost. And God does not have angels around us. Even though it says so, motherfucker, in at least the two most famous world, works on the world of any fucking version of the Bible. Whether it's a, a King James Version, which the Baptist like like to bang with and or a, a message version where you have no fucking concept of what verse it is but let me just ask you about the Quran does it not have stuff on the jinn in there and if you haven't caught up look it up on Google if you don't know what the definitions of these words are but let's just totally attack a pagan priest and cut his fucking beard off gradually so that you motherfuckers can create your own little world and your own little society in an Aryan race kind of thing that says God doesn't know what he makes. But you motherfucker are a medical practitioner that knows everything about cellular health of another individual who's a total stranger and let's just make sure that we get every fucking retail employee to participate where they turn off the electricity on people who are homeless and which is eventually going to be you motherfuckers because you already live at the bottom baseline poverty line we're barely making a living at what seven, eight, ten, nine dollars. I'm trying to remember when I ask a, a Dollar Tree person how much they make, but it wasn't a hell of a lot of money. And let's just totally motherfucking attack that person's life in a social experience of can we create havoc in a land that we'd like to stay in, lay in, and play in. But let's go back to the law. Under what motherfucking federal or international treaty based? Law, did you have one fucking right to attack a human being's life? Because under our laws, it's treason.